Alright, hey guys, uh, this is Theta. I'm gonna go ahead and do a tutorial on making sound packs. It's pretty, pretty easy, actually. It's one of the easiest things, in my opinion. Right up there with sound, uh, like music modding and stuff like that. Um, all you're gonna need is Super Sons, a sound.br or SAR, whatever you wanna call it. I already have that included. Uh, Audacity, which uh, I'll put a link to in the description. And any audio files that you want to you know like mod that's the whole point of the video so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do Yoshi for as an example and uh, so you're gonna open up super songs here and file open br sar and uh, just open the one that's gonna be included inside the super songs like a resource file I'm gonna link um, so when you open that you're gonna have this list here scroll down to whoever you want to work on this is how the file structure works it's gonna go Jayosu is like the main you know all the, uh, the uh, you know the make the just some miscellaneous sound effects it's like the main one and then it's gonna list all these characters pretty much all the little playable characters you can be able to you know play as um, I'm not positive if I put the um, files. Hang on! You did it! Yeah, so uh, I think this is the Brawl one I'm going to have included. It can either be the Brawl one or the um, Project M one. Um, so, anyway, once you're past all of the characters, I believe Sonic, yeah, it's select. Um, yeah, so, once it gets to where select is, um, all these files afterward are kind of like other related sound effects. Basically, just play around to find you know the one you want to use. Um, the ones for characters obviously are going to be here. The only really important ones to be this one here. Uh, the characters here. Uh, and then if you scroll down to where you start getting these random numbers, scroll to the top of these numbers and you see common, care call, menu, melee, and menu. These are all the announcer files. So, uh, for example. Peach, Bonnet, Captain Falcon. So you know what those are. Um, so uh, going back to where Yoshi is. I'm gonna open up these. There's usually gonna be two sound banks for a character. Um, so yeah, they're all this miscellaneous sound effects. I'm just gonna do one for here and make a uh, random sound file. It doesn't really matter. Um, the thing you have to make sure of though, um, and this is important, is that when you the way that this works is that uh, sound brsir. I'd make a backup every single time you even open Super Songs. Because uh, with these audio files, if you replace one of these, you're not able to get it back. Unless you have another copy of the sound BRSAR. You can go ahead and download it again if you really want to, but I would just not recommend it. So make a backup. It's easier to do. Um, and then just start fresh every single time you open this. Um, and once you make a sound file, um, you can't open it again. It kind of just It's kind of set in stone. So um, what I do is usually I make I, I open these and then if I have a project I'm working on I'll keep the uh, edited one so then if, when you open it back up you'll have all your edited sound files but if you want to go ahead and you know add to it you're gonna need this sound um, brsar so I'm, I'd name one to like for example my game and watch sound pack uh, I have one for that I have one for a snake one I'm working on stuff like that so my announcer file one I have one um, so wow. yeah just keep one and then make a backup a lot. Um, so, I'm going to replace this with a uh, random sound. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go on the one sound you're going to want to replace, and then go to this little, little this little thing here. Click that, and then I'm going to go to music, non-music sound. These are just some, you know, some things to use. So, um, I have this sound file. Now the important thing you're going to want to make sure of here is that when you're doing sounds, they're going to need to be small and about the same length, if not shorter, than this, uh, than the one you're using. So this one's 0 0.91 seconds long, uh, this one's 2.606 seconds long. Um, so in reality, when I made this, I'd go ahead and keep this down to about 9, you know, 0.9 seconds. Um, so try to do that. That's uh, almost necessary. The thing is, you'll see this a lot in sound packs. If you're having a problem where you'll open up and there'll be like these really demonic sounding, like screeching sounding noises, just sounds like an error in general, basically. basically. Um, 
That means that your sound file is going above the threshold limit of how much data it can hold, which means that you have something something's either too rich in audio quality or too long. So I'm gonna go. Let's go ahead and I mean yeah here we'll just go ahead and replace the sound. So I'd go ahead and do insert, and it will tell you the new size and old size. So the old size is 11,550 bits. And my new one I just put in is 25,900. Um, so mine's almost twice the size of it. No, it is it is more than twice the size of it. So try to keep it down to this old size. So uh, keep this number in mind when you're doing these edit, edit, editing things. Um, it can be longer if it's lower quality or does not contain as much sound difference. So for example, um, if I just went for like a second long, that doesn't hold much variation in tone. So that wouldn't have much data inside of it. Um, so that could be longer. The important thing, though, is to keep this, you know, to around this data amount. Um, so let's open up that OBB triple noise. And so this is the sound thing. I have it in Audacity. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and normalize this. So now the, um, the variation side of its pitch is about set to where a normal sound file would be. I usually keep it in negative one decibels. Um, what I usually do is I just, I play one of these sounds. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah, so baby, then, when well, you're playing all the default ones here, you're going to want to keep these ones to about the same volume. Um, that's what I just did here. Um, and then, um, see, at the bottom here you have this project rate, which is, uh, there's different bit rates here, in hertz, or, I believe it's hertz, I'm pretty sure. Um, these are the quality of, you know, how much you're going to do. So, for example, I'll set it to 8,000, which is really bad. Oh, baby, a triple! And that has low quality. I use for voice files, I either do 22,000 or 16,000. Uh, I mean, in this case, not 22, you know, 22050. Um, keep it at the, around there. And, um, those two are good. They, they usually have, like, they keep the quality for voice. For sound files, like music, if you're doing music editing, use uh, 32 or 44. I'd recommend doing 32, but um, so yeah, for voice files, go either 22 or 16,000, whatever you think sounds good for the file without destroying it. And then um, what you can also do is I'm gonna go ahead and you know, I'm gonna go ahead and change the tempo uh, by like 10 percent. Oh baby, a triple! So you can see now it's a lot faster, but I didn't get rid of much, like you know, quality-wise, um, and I, for example, just for example, I'll put this to 16,000, and we will go ahead and export this, and it has to be a WAV file, WAV, it has to be in that format, Pressed. or however you want to name it, so, um, our goal is 11,000, and right now we have 25,000, so let's go ahead and try again. And it's now 1.85 seconds long. Oh, baby, a triple! And you can see it's a little bit lower in quality, but um, it's a voice, so it's not really going to be noticeable. So let's try inserting this. And now our new one is 16,000. So we minus 8,000 bytes. Oh, baby, a triple! And it's a lot faster. So um, that's the main thing. I What I usually do to reduce size is I clip off um, little pauses between these. So like this word here, or this is here. I'd either highlight this area here and go to tempo change inside the you know effects and make it faster so that his pause between words would be less so he'd be like instead of saying oh baby a triple he'd be like oh baby a triple so it'd be faster um, and then you can take off from the front and end if there's any silence at the beginning there you basically have it so it's just the important part of the sound you need and keep the volume right use the right bit rate and that's the basics for it. I'm not gonna go ahead and fine-tune this so it actually fits in um, but you get the basis of how to do this. And go ahead and do this for everything. Keep the file size under the original. So I'm at 16,000 and need to be 11,500. 11, um, so I'd have to reduce this a little bit more to actually make it work. Um, and once you're done with all with doing all those, you're going to click Create Sound. And let's put it on desktop. It doesn't matter. So um, this is now a sound file. You put this inside of your... I'll go to my file. Smash stuff, my build, play. So this is the so this would be your thing, and depending on not if it has these files, it doesn't matter. Go to Project M PF SFX, and this is where you'd put your sound file, and then it'd work.
as long as you, you know, followed all the guidelines I said before. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's been asked for a bit, and that's it. See ya.